Hey Hope, I'm Melanie. I'm the Grow Pastor at our Frisco East Campus, and I'm excited to spend a few minutes with you today. If you're following along in our Lent devotion, we're on day 27 and we're talking about David. I really appreciated how the devotion reminded us very first thing that David was human. And I don't know about you, but I have a love-hate relationship with that idea because I want to be superhuman. I want to do everything perfect. I know it's not reasonable. I know it's not right, but that's how I want to be. So I had this in the back of my mind as I was reading through the devotion and as I was reading through Psalm 51. The other thing that struck me immediately as I was reading was the devotion reminded us that David was given charge over parts of God's kingdom. So I talked to my girls about this and I asked them, what has God given you to be in charge of? Their first answer was the dogs. And then as they thought about it some more, Sophia said, me, God has given me charge over myself. I am in charge of my actions, my attitudes, my words. You guys, I learned something from my kids this morning as we were doing these devotions together. Because I was thinking about the idea of God giving us charge over pieces of his kingdom. For me, I've been given charge over my family. And right now, in this time, that's my priority. I want to be the best mom, the best wife, the best friend, the best daughter, the best sister. That's a lot of pressure if I'm trying to be perfect at all of that. So as I read through Psalm 51, kind of letting God stir all of this around in my heart, I came to the verse where David said, you have desired honesty from me, even in the womb. And it's telling us that God wants a heartfelt honesty from us. And I started thinking about that. What does that look like when I bring honesty to God, when I allow myself to be as honest as David was in Psalm 51, where he is confessing his sin, murder, and having an affair, and God still says, you're a man after my own heart. You know, the next line after David saying, you desire honesty from me, is him saying, and then you bring wisdom. So I thought about that. What does that mean for me? If I allow myself to be honest with God about how I'm feeling in this moment, it opens up the opportunity for me to one, not carry around all of these emotions throughout the whole day, but two, for God to bring me the wisdom to know how to walk through those emotions. I want to encourage you today, if you would join me in being honest about, about how you're feeling, that it allows God to bring you wisdom and how to walk through it. It's okay for you to tell God, Lord, I feel anxious about this. I feel scared about this. I feel great about this. In this time where so many are struggling, we have a huge win in our family. That might feel really hard to you. I want to encourage you though, that bringing your honest, authentic self to God makes way for God to give you wisdom, to understand how to walk through and be your best self in the areas that he has given you charge over. A friend of mine has been reminding us to take care of our vital needs, which means the thing that you need to help you be your best self. Maybe you need to get alone for a minute and just be quiet with God. Maybe you need to be alone and just not think about anything at all. Maybe you need to go for a run or for a walk. Maybe you need to get on FaceTime and be seen and heard by one of your friends today. Whatever that is, I want to encourage you to take a moment and figure out how to be your best self today, to be honest with God about your feelings. He knows your heart better than anyone else anyway. And he said, as David reminds us, that his unfailing, steadfast love is ready and waiting always. I don't know about you, but I need God's steadfast, unfailing love more today than ever before. And I'm going to need it more tomorrow and the day after that. So I want to make this a habit and a pattern in my life and in my kids' lives to bring my authentic best self to God, knowing that he's waiting with his unfailing, steadfast love for me. Hope, I love you. We're praying for you. Hope this is encouraging to you today.